When White Light was announced, it sort of came out of nowhere, and it was being backed by Activision, which in itself seemed quite bizarre. I mean, Activision are a company best known for their blockbusters like Destiny, Call of Duty, Skylanders. They're not really known for their weird, quirky indie games, and this looked like a very old-school survival horror, which would be very hard to sell to people. So, fair play to Activision for giving back into a very interesting game. And it's an interesting game for many reasons, but one of the main reasons that stand out straight away is its very interesting art style. It's maybe not something completely new, we've all seen film noir before, we've all seen black and white games before, but it's a very nice looking game in terms of that art style. Where it is let down, unfortunately, is that that art style tends to find yourself finding it very hard to get a sort of depth of feel of where you're going, which may not seem like a big deal at first, but when you're being chased by a bunch of ghosts, it's not great really to, you know, run into a wall instead of going through a doorway and then getting killed by said ghosts. Um, it also is very hard to actually find items a lot of the time, which means you'll be running about like a 90s RPG, just sort of smashing X or smashing the action button to try and get those items, which for the most part are not clearly signposted. The gameplay itself is fairly standard, you know, fairly standard survival horror. It's run about a haunted mansion, don't get killed. That classic. However, all the enemies in this game are one hit kill, which basically means if you run into them not knowing where they are, you're a bit fucked. And upon that initial not knowing where they are, it's a bit scary. And you go, ah, and then that's sort of it, unfortunately. You find yourself not being scared of them past the initial fear, which is a shame, really. There should be more to it than that. And it's not only that that lets it down, it's sort of the case of the level design means that you can't run about it, run about them very easily. So when you do run into them, you die, but the death animations are bad. And death animations always have to be quite solid in a horror game. So it makes you fear dying, it makes you not want to die. Resident Evil always got this spot on me, even from the first game. In this, it just tends to be yourself if you get trapped in the dark or a ghost just sort of flailing about the place like Kermit having a bit of a mad panic attack. The atmosphere of the game though is quite effective. The sound design is lovely in places. Um, sometimes it does get let down for the most part though. It's spot on, especially if you're playing it with headphones like these. But And the world building is also really nice, but it's unfortunately a little cliche. And to say a little cliche, maybe underselling it a tiny bit. <laughs> but that doesn't make it a bad game and the world building is very nice, but the way that it is written in places can be a bit of a problem, especially because it seems that English may not be the native tongue. So there's lots of full stops and commas where there shouldn't be and sentences starting with words like and, which you wouldn't do. But it's it's small and Overall, the story they are trying to tell of this world is very interesting. The game is enjoyable if you're a horror fan, and that is obviously important. But it's not really going to get you to want to play it if you're not a horror fan, and it's not one of those games that you're going to jump in even if you're not a horror fan just to see what it's like. Um... It will no doubt be a bargain soon in the sales, and at that point you'll pick it up and you'll have a lot of fun. But at full price it's a bit hard to sort of say, go pick it up, unless you're a massive horror nut that just wants to have that horror itch scratched and you've ran out of horror games. But it is really promising and it's a lovely little game that hopefully the creators will build upon and make something even better next time. They've proven their calibre, so let's see if they can go again.